I have already shared an image or two from this boudoir session in my Aperture 300X review. If you haven't seen it, please go check it out. I recently realized I had almost the entire session on video. So here it is with, of course, a few words on how we actually made these images. Fine art boudoir and fine art nude are two genres in photography I stayed away from for a couple of years and decided to embrace fully recently. I guess I wasn't capable of driving such a session when I started. I didn't have the confidence, I didn't have the technical knowledge to create images that would please me. I will still have that approach where lines, shapes and curves will have an important part in the creation of my images. Light placement and of course shadows will also guide me and help me to place my model and vice versa. This is another session you can easily replicate in any tight space because it barely requires any. I'm using two continuous lights, like I said in the intro to Aperture 300X with the Light Dome 2 and the Lantern 90. I did play with color temperatures, added a little bit of warmth in some shots and played with color separation. The Lantern 90 is a great overhead light or a great fill light. I use the Light Dome 2 as my main light because I have the option to use the grid for a more directional light. For the light effects, the fake blinds, the fake window light and the round shaped light for the last shot, I used the Pixapro Optical Snoot with a 50 millimeter lens attached to it and the 8600 Pro by Godox. Of course, I made a review of this incredible tool. The link will be in the description box below. I am using again for this session a hand painted backdrop. This one is by Gravity Backdrops. I am doing this entire session with the GFX 100S and the GF 50 millimeter lens.
for these type of sessions, one of the most important things to do is to make sure that your model is feeling comfortable in this space you are working in. I always discuss the sessions up front. I share images, inspirations, and I often ask my models if they feel comfortable with the ideas I propose. We always know before the shoot the outfits we are going to use. This leaves no space for surprises during the session. This way your model will be less stressed and they will more likely let themselves go with the flow. If at any time your model is tensed, stressed or doesn't feel like pursuing the session, let go of your camera and try to find a way to solve the problem. Remember that they are in a vulnerable position, so their well-being is really important for the success of your session. Well, that's it for this one. I hope that you enjoyed it and maybe learned a thing or two. I guess that I will catch you in the next one. But until then, take care and please, please have a good one.